No, there are no sales. These are all just hand-me-downs. <laughs> I mean, some people get like thrift shop yeah, TVs. This but is true. Regardless, we have here Jen versus Dill and losers top six. Starting at PS2, the classic. I need to catch up on some YouTube uploads, so take it away, Sonic Queen. I'll be with you shortly. Will do. Now, I know these two have fought a lot, but I do not know what their set count is exactly. I imagine they go back and forth a lot, because obviously both these players are at the PR level. Both of them have won events here before. And I don't think they fought so, like at this point in bracket before, at least not where one be eliminated before top four at the very least. But that just goes to show how, you know, how the up and coming talent of New York from players like Carflow and Zane, uh, given some of the oldies are on for their money. <laughs> the oldies. <laughs> that, 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 that sounded I know. <laughs> way harsher than I intended it to, but I my brain like... <laughs> yeah, we got, we got Grandpa Jen and Grandma Dill. <laughs> like. My brain just couldn't think of a better term. Veterans, maybe. I say this knowing I'm in that same spot. Yeah. <laughs> so oldies. if either of you are oldies listening, oldies but back, goodies. Exactly. If you're listening back on this, no, I mean it out of love. <laughs> you can't see me. I'm throwing up the heart shape. Up throw, going to take it. That was so good. That m I don't know if that would have killed, but. Just the just the knowledge of you're probably going to jump or do something like a shield grab and you get conked for it. Against any lesser player, that probably would have worked. Okay. Uh Dill up up a stock right now, but not by too much. 140 damage, kinda just waiting to die. Let's see what kind of I mean, that's the thing about Rob, right? Like uh -huh. if you get that one really good hit, it could amount for a lot. But at the same time, this is Dill. She doesn't actually like have those in her roots, so it's a little bit more neutral base. Um, and yeah, so Jen going to be evening up the the stocks here. Only sixty percent, uh, so like not too much of a deficit. Let's see, uh, and you know, going to be closing this gap there, with all these. Ooh, that was cute. <laughs> I like that. Tele cancel uh, to regain the jump. But keeping the movement, uh, you know, uh, Man, tricky. Re remember when Palo was everywhere? I miss that time, honestly. <laughs> I think this character is so good and really fun to watch. There, there, were, there were like a couple of things that were just frankly not okay. But otherwise, the Palo as a whole is very light on like, you know, what we kind of define as cheese, especially considering like what Fighters Pass Two brought later. Yeah. I forget what her changes were that, like, it was, like, one too many in my opinion, but regardless. Uh, ooh, wow. Was that a two-frame? No, it, it just uh, just recovered on stage. Living, because Rob is a big boy. Big boy. So the winner of this is going to fight the winner of John and Raptor. Ooh. The quick fair. Honestly, a very underrated move in Rob's toolkit. That that move is fair. Yeah, very, yeah. very fast. Dill actually thinks that uh, Rob's fair is Rob's best move because it has like the most utility. Best it's literally aerial or yeah. just best move. Uh, aerial, aerial. Okay. Because it's literally like aerial down tilt. <laughs> that's how I, that's not how Dill describes. It. That's how I describe it. But yeah, that move is really fast and you know is really good at stuffing. Like obviously, it doesn't have as high of a peak. It was like back air, down air, but like in general roundedness, like, oh boy. It, it, it can still edge guard when it needs to. Yeah. Oh boy. Big di Oh, actually escaping. I say right Ooh. Actually dead? Oh my god. Yeah. That's tragic. <laughs> Did she use her jump already? Because she, she kind of. Uh, Rob. Uh, let's see. Or did did Dill use her jump already? I should have said. Um, I didn't see like the jump. So, oh, she fared. Yep, just doing moves. Yeah, just wanted don't, to. Don't do moves. Just want to get out of tumble. I, no I, committees. I, I get it. No committees. All right. So I think. 
Uh, Jen's bands were Battlefield and Kalos. Okay. That might have been left over from the previous set, but we're going to go with it. And Dill is picking going back to PS2. Yeah, nothing, nothing really wrong with the stage itself. Play, yeah, I mean, played well for yeah, the most part. It was it was very even between the two. Uh, like, so I think honestly, this still just kind of telling herself like, let me just uh, not get hit by what happened at the end, and I, I'm in good, I'm in uh, a good position, you know. All right. Much harder for Rob to juggle on the stage compared to Paolo, though. Yeah, she has her platform extensions. Rob doesn't have too much of, like, platform extension stuff. And also, uh... What, what, he, what Rob has is way more vertical than... Paolo can go, like, all over the place. Yeah, and also with, like, how big PS2 is, you know, the widest legal stage, um, like... Rob isn't exactly the fastest, while Paolo literally skitters all over the place. Uh, all right. I feel like that was a jab lock opportunity. Uh, I think Dill read attack, and that's why I went for down smash because down smash would have covered uh, tech in oh neutral tech, uh, maybe not tech out. Didn't go far enough. Anyway, Jen gonna take the first stock. Now 132. Okay. Just do well, it. Yep. Why not? That that's the that's the the, the pressure situation, right? You can't roll because you're gonna be uh, the start of your roll is vulnerable. You can't jump, like. Once Dill like got that started, you're in a really scary situation. And like, based on like the the way it was timed and how it connected, uh, like Jen definitely was looking for an opening to get away and just got caught. So even stocks, but Dill still taking some pretty decent damage. 83. Jen still at five. So Jen, as we just saw, got a couple of really good parries into pushing advantage more. I found out recently that some moves that are, like, disjointed, but not necessarily swords or, like, a limb or anything, some disjoints have much, much longer lag when parrying than regular moves. And I think Rob's Nair falls into that category. I'm sorry, say that again? So moves like... Ro I saw some a couple things, like, Rob Nair, I think, Zero Suit's Down Smash. Uh -huh. Moves like that, where it's like... They're using their body, but like a fire or electric attack comes out. When parry, they're stuck in the animation for much longer. And Rob's Nair being like a centerpiece, if it's parried, you know, we, we assume that for the longest time, Rob's Nair's like, uh, parrying it, it's a joke. But actually... No, you should. It's absolutely a parry bait move. And when parry, Rob is stuck for like, I think, eight to 10 frames, as opposed to like the normal three or four. Yeah, no, if, if you can comfortably parry Rob Nair, uh, you definitely make the uh, a lot more uncomfortable. Um, remember, Nair, Rob's Nair doesn't start in front. It looks like it does, but it actually the hitbox starts at the bottom. Yeah. So, and then, you know, goes, uh, goes backwards and then land and then ends on forward. So like, you have a lot of time uh, to kind of like wait for that move because like for the most part if Rob is facing you like majority of the move is on the other side trying to like understand that it doesn't have a hitbox in front I know that was something that I struggled with yeah. probably still do honestly uh, just because of the way the move reads it, yeah it just looks like yeah the wonders of animation all right, we're getting to last stock here. Critical mass. Dill's this tournament life on the line here. Ooh, okay, oh great read by boy. Jen. Uh, 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 boost? No. I thought a down air was coming. Yeah, out. I did too. All right, what's the play? What's the play? Mm, that's no. not gonna do it. Yeah. What? Barely missed that. I like clipped her hair. <laughs> yep. Back air. She's like, oh, you cut a couple split Oof. ends. Thank you. That's not it, but it's close. Up air will do it. Dill oh, has to be no. very careful coming down. Oh, oh I, didn't <laughs> I didn't see the gyro. Everyone's there. looking up in the sky at Rob, and the gyro's like, I got you. It's like, no. Once again, we're in that situation. Oh. oh. 
Ooh. That was that was really good. Caught by the bottom of the explosive flame. And <laughs> not this time. I don't need up airs to kill you. Wait, let's see that again. Bink. That's crazy. She. Hmm. I don't know if Dill had already committed to a fastball. Might have been able to fastball neutral air dodge that, but. I'm willing to bet that she wasn't expecting it either way, so unfortunately that is going to be her tournament life. She is Placing taking fifth. fifth. Yep. So the next match is going to be uh, Jen versus the winner of Raptor and Numbers. Are they playing off stream? Uh, yeah, they're playing right now. Okay. So uh, they've been 20 minutes in. That, they could be that... a slow set. I'm not actually really sure. But uh, yeah, we might have just a little bit of waiting, a they, little they, bit of downtime. They do both like to uh, keep to ledge if they can help it. Yoshi less so, but he yeah. can definitely just like keep doing eggs, eggs.